is rooted in racism, so you- The little hip trust! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a doozy for you today. 21st century has become so, like, disconnected from reality, it's actually insane. We can't keep letting them get away with it. Like, <laughs> we need to tell them to stop. This video is about a little thing called fatphobia. Do you care about what you eat? Do you go to the gym so you can get a better physique? You are fatphobic. Simple as. You're, you should just give up now. Die. You're, you, you don't deserve to be here. You might think I'm joking. I wish I fucking was. As I said many times, I'm not a political channel. I'm just a fatphobic Irish boy who just wants to talk some shit. <laughs> if you said this to people back in like the 1940s and stuff, you would be laughed. Maybe you'd be burnt at the stake for your silly ideas. I don't know. The first person I want to talk about is this woman called J Bay Official. And just listen to how delusional this woman is, bro. Listen, just j uh, trust me, you're not ready for this. We deserve an environment that respects our needs and body diversity. These are the exact steps that hotels can take to be more size inclusive and accessible for travelers of all sizes. Number one on the list, provide sturdy wider chairs without armrests. Without armrests? Why? Why, why, why without the armrests? Number two on the list, ensure beds with strong support and a higher weight capacity. What do you mean by higher weight capacity? Enough to fucking balance the Burj Khalifa? What do you want? Like, I'm not trying to be mean, okay? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to be truthful. Like, people can get so unbelievably heavy. What do you expect hotels and stuff like that to do? You have to get the bed with the highest tensile strength so it doesn't snap in half when a beluga whale sits on it. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Enough that even the Titanic could get a good night's rest. Like, you are a very heavy woman, okay? Like, there's no two ways around it. I'm not trying to be mean, that's just a fact. But, somewhere in the world, there is someone twice the fucking size of you. So a bed that is able to hold you is not a bed that would be able to hold someone else. So what do you expect them to do? Use the materials that they use to make the Golden Gate Bridge to make you a king-size bed? Number three, make elevators and hallways spacious to allow for easy movement of larger individuals and those utilizing mobility devices. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'm in disbelief. I can't believe this woman actually had the audacity to say that. Make elevators and hallways of hotels wider. I'm... I believe they are pretty fucking wide. Like, if you didn't have the circumference of the Empire State Building, maybe you'd be able to fit into the elevator. And, brother, if you are so fat, you can't even walk down a fucking hallway because you can't fit? The problem is you. She talks about making these things bigger for people that are big and for people using mobility devices. My mother used to use a mobility device. She definitely did not need a bigger fucking hallway in a hotel. And I haven't even gotten onto the biggest fucking problem with this suggestion. To make these hallways bigger, they need to completely reconstruct the hotels. Are you that delusional that you genuinely believe the hotels should completely reconstruct their building just because you like six Ben and Jerry's before bedtime? Like, that's a lot of money, bro. Like, millions upon millions. No one's gonna do that. You are you literally have made yourself the laughing stock just by saying that, you know? The other things were, you know, not too bad. You know, a, a stronger bed and, you know, a fucking bigger chair with no armrests for some reason, but I digress. Those are things that are doable. Hotels could easily do that. But then you completely ruined it by asking them to completely reconstruct their fucking building. No, it's just not gonna happen, bro. Being overweight is something you can change. No matter what the fuck, I don't care what any of you are saying right now, being da overweight is easily changed. Maybe not easily because you have to get out of some bad habits and stuff, but like other than that, it's very doable. Hi ladies, how you doing? I wanna kill you. Oh yeah, take a number, honey. Who the fuck says that? I don't think I've ever heard somebody say that they wanna kill somebody because they're fat. Grasping at straws here now, my guy. If you're so worried about health, then maybe you should go on a diet, honestly. See, fat phobia is rooted in racism, so you- The little hip trust! <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> she was so confident in that, bro. See, fat phobia is, is rooted, rooted in, in racism. racism? <laughs> rooted in racism? Fat phobia isn't real. You literally foam at the mouth when you see a fat person. You're hissing and screaming at the clouds because a fat person likes themselves. 
Excuse me? Who the fuck foams at the mouth when they see a fucking fat person? Probably a dog with rabies because they see that they have more to feast on. There is a difference between the fat that is in my mind and the fat that is in your mind. I only consider somebody fat when they are genuinely obese. If you aren't obese, you're just chubby. That's literally the end of. If your weight is not actually negatively impacting your health, meaning you will die if you don't lose weight, you fuck it, if you love yourself, that is perfectly fine. As long as you are not actually actively endangering yourself and your health, that is okay. That's not what people are talking about. People are talking about these genuinely obese people with breathing machines that can't walk because of their weight actively glorifying their body and saying that you should be happy with how you look if you look like me. Still don't understand why going to the gym makes me fat phobic. I literally worked hard for my body. Why are you trying to shame me for it? Going to the gym does not make you fat phobic. Going to the gym so that you can look a certain way and have a certain body image does make you fat phobic because there's absolutely nothing healthy about a certain body size. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I give up, man. I give up. I'm done. Mm.